Com. I right. love that title. Uh, yeah. All right, a lot of us are getting set for our 4th of July celebrations. It's very important to remember firework safety, hours, everything to do with that. Let's not get ourselves in trouble or that's, hurt. That's right. And Lauren, so you are staying up on this. She's going to show us how everyone can stay safe this Independence Day. Fireworks are a 4th of July tradition and can be fun to watch, but they can also be incredibly dangerous. That's why the National Safety Council says leave it to the experts. Never allow children to light fireworks, never use fireworks under the influence, light fireworks in your hands, and only use consumer fireworks. Those are just several of the things that experts really want you to keep in mind as we celebrate the 4th of July. Safe Kids Worldwide says over 3,000 children under the age of 15 are sent to the emergency room each year in the U.S. because of fireworks. Children ages 10 to 14 had the highest rate of injury, and over 19,000 fires that were started by fireworks are reported annually. Our partners at the Cincinnati Enquirer have a list of what you need to know before your holiday celebration. So go ahead and take a look at your screen. These are important times, hours, days. Your screen in Ohio says fireworks are only permitted on certain days from 4 to 11 p.m. That's Friday, June 28th through June 30th, and then July 3rd through July 7th. In Kentucky, there are no specific dates you are allowed to use fireworks. All consumer fireworks are legal under the uh, Kentucky state law, with some limits on explosive composition amounts. Local rules vary by county and city, so double check the rules in your area. And finally, in Indiana, Hoosier can only have them during the 4th of July weekend, June 29th to July 3rd from 5 p.m. until two hours after sunset, July 4th from 10 a.m. until midnight, July 5th to July 9th from 5 p.m. until two hours after sunset as well. And remember, not everyone enjoys fireworks. Always be mindful as well as respectful of those around you. Maybe ask how you can best accommodate their needs during the 4th of July celebration. In studio, Lauren Miner, Fox 19 Now. Let's just hope our neighbors pay attention to those hours. Yes, yes. <laughs> please. Well, you know, too, a lot of people forget the dogs, too. Dogs, yes. our pets, they don't yeah. like that. They like to get out, especially so I would bring them inside yeah. or put them somewhere where they're not able to escape because I always hear, we always bring the shelters in and they say we always get a lot of dogs that are lost around the holiday. Yeah, they run, they get scared. Good point, Lauren. Those thunder shirts and, um, somewhat work. Not mm -hmm. to be too yeah. annoying, but... It is the 4th of July, the anniversary of our country. Yes. Take a moment. Think about what those men and women yes. sacrificed. Oh, Absolutely. Right. That's right. Yes. That's right. I, I like to take that moment with the kids, you know, mm -hmm. play a little patriotic music. That's right. Good get the point, flag Sarah. and get going. Hey, let's start.